Okay, what I've got here is um, a Uri LA4, which is a classic optical compressor. Uses the same optical cell as a LA2, both kind of revered, particularly LA2 in recording studios. Um, over on the screen here, you can see the distortion characteristics, and this is largely generated by the uh, optical gain cell, the actual cell that does the gain reduction. Um, there's our fundamental one kilohertz tone that we're injecting into it, and we can see here second and third harmonics, fourth, a bit stronger fifth. At this stage, the unit isn't con uh, in gain reduction at all, so it's just passing signal through, pretty much at unity gain. I'll now bring the unit into actual compression, and I'll bring up, I don't know, around, let's see, 6 dB gain reduction, and we can see the distortion components come up. They look quite significant there, it's still about 0.1% distortion, so it's not gross distortion, but it's definitely audible. Um, now I'll take the unit back out of gain reduction, so it's slowly releasing. This has a natural release that's dependent on the actual optical cell itself. Um, it's now back out of gain reduction, it's idling back at unity gain. You can see the harmonics stay present, uh, almost unchanged, there's a slight shift in the balance between the second and third, but they still stay quite prominent. If we continue to roll film for probably another 10 minutes, we would see that over that very long period of time, the harmonics have very slowly settled back down to that uh, original low level that we're at. So this is a, a, an interesting characteristic uh, of optical compression, that uh, the distortion characteristics are very much dependent on the amount of gain reduction applied, but the distortion characteristics stay present after the unit has come out of gain reduction. See this unit here is actually slightly out of alignment, there's a little trim through the front panel here where we can trim that needle back to sit back at zero, but it's now idling at zero dB gain reduction. And coming back here, uh, this is where we need the time-lapse uh, photography and we would see that you know, over a long period of time those harmonics would fall back almost into the noise floor still present, but uh, at much lower levels. Each graduation, that amount there in terms of distortion is 20 dB. Uh, so it's a fairly uh, large amount, relative, relative. It's very hard sometimes uh, to ascribe in a technical level what actually causes the sonic characteristics. Things like LA2s are you know, considered classic bits of equipment in recording studios. They impart something that it often is actually very difficult to measure technically, but uh, at least with this particular parameter, this is something that can be shown fairly fairly easily the way the harmonics shift with gain reduction and quite interestingly and quite uniquely how those harmonic products stay present after the unit has come out of gain reductions just sitting passing signal at unity gain. Uh, let's put it slam it back into gain reduction just to finish back up. So we're really slamming now that's 20 dB gain reduction. See interestingly here now what happens is the harmonics actually come down. So small amounts of gain reduction, harmonics are stronger, extreme amounts of gain reduction, harmonics are less. So it's quite a, a complex thing, both in terms of level, dynamics, gain reduction and time. We're now back idling very close to, as it's releasing, zero dB gain reduction. You see those harmonics have come back up quite strongly. LA4, LA2, that's what they do.